In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Creator God, we thank you for the creative skills of all human beings, made as we are in your image and likeness. Inspire us to use our skills for the benefit of all our brothers and sisters, working not in competition with others, but as fellow travelers who share the same journey. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning. Um, many of you by now have heard the tragic uh, news of the sudden death of a grade nine centennial student, Ryan Dobson. A lot of students here know him. I want you to know the Bishop Max community is feeling for you and our thoughts and our prayers with Ryan and with his family and with all the students at Centennial and here and throughout Guelph who knew him. During the day today and in the coming days, I want every student who feels the need to please come down to the chapel, sit, grieve, work through things, come down to guidance, speak with one of the guidance counselors. You are not alone in how you're responding to things, and you're not alone in how overwhelming and frightening and, and just horrible news like this can be. I want you to know that we don't have answers, but we do have presence. And again, no one has to be alone through this terrible time. Over the coming days, our student council is going to be putting together a card for people to sign to send condolences to Centennial. And we will also be uh, stretching out uh, in solidarity with that school community. Thank you. Celtics, my name is Matilda Stradioto. And I'm Braden Kornstra. Welcome to BM News. There will be a team meeting for the senior boys soccer team today at lunch in room 209. We will begin at the start of lunch. Uh, youth Talk will be meeting today at lunch in room 216. All students interested in mental health and creating a world where people have hope and never feel alone are welcome. Or if you would like more information, please see Ms. Larratt, Ms. Melsky, or Ms. Farron. And now this is a short video from the music department. The vocal group meets today at lunch. The band will meet again on Friday at lunch. Mr. Collins is coming in on Friday, so it's imperative that all band members attend Friday's practice. Volunteers needed for the Ray Scapanello Road Hockey Tournament. Various opportunities such as referees, set, set up, takedown, cleanup, registration, timekeeping, snacks, beverages, ball retrieval. Seek guidance for more information. Are you interested in taking a summer co-op? This is a great opportunity to gain experience in the workplace and earn two credits for your OSSD. The summer school co-op is a great chance for students in a schism to obtain this requirement. Application forms are available in the guidance office and are due by Friday, March 4th. Visit guidance to get your application today. Take flight night is Monday, February 29th at 7 p.m. here at Bishop McDonnell. Come find a Come find out about specialized programs and course options offered for grades 10, 11, and 12s. Hope to see you there. Attention grade 12s. Are you interested in free money? The scholarship report is in for February and March. Please stop by the guidance office today and pick up your copy. We are very excited to announce that a new Girls Only Fitness Club is coming to Bishop Mack. All girls in grade 9 to 12 are welcome to attend a presentation March 1st, period 2, in room 104 to learn more about the program. We look forward to seeing you all. 
A reminder that our spike ball tournament continues today. Please see a schedule outside the gym. Attention all scorekeepers, please meet today at lunch in the council office for your pizza lunch. You must bring your completed volunteer sheets to this meeting as well. Please continue to bring in your donations for 10 for 10 to your homeroom classes. On Friday, Deacon Klein will be shaving his head in support of this great cause. And thank you for your generosity. Friday will be a civvies day. Would you like to win this spirit wear that we're holding up right here? Go on to Bishop Mac Instagram at BM Blue Blast and like our photo for your chance to win. You must also be following us in order to be eligible. If you are interested in ordering spirit wear items, please get order forms to the main office by Friday. Thank you. Any students who signed up for the grade 9, 10, or 11 math contests are asked to see Mr. Nguyen immediately in room 214. Uh, now let's go to Chris McKay, uh, live outside with a All look right. at the incoming storm. Okay, hello, Celtics. Uh, the good people over at BM just decided to kick me out into the snow for no reason. As my father always said, be careful. Wait, what is it, Chris? Hello, hello. It's raining ice shrapnel out here. Uh, okay, well, uh, I do have, I'm appear to get uh, getting frostbite. This is such a, look at this lovely weather. I mean, you know, the sun's shining. Uh, I'm very cold. Someone please let me back in. All right. Thank you, Chris McHaig, for that interesting weather report. Uh, just a couple of throwover announcements. Uh, the girls curling team put forward an outstanding effort during Kwasa round robin play yesterday. They won the B side draw of D10 on Sunday, putting out Centennial and beat Bramford's Pauline Johnson in a qualifier match 16 to two. The girls played three draws Tuesday, winning their first eight to two and losing in two close games to last year's finalists in Galt Collegiate. Congratulations to Jordan uh, Teasdale, Sarah Jerling, Victoria Guns Hinchcliffe, Lauren Hinchcliffe, and, Al and Alicia Levac, who are excellent ambassadors for Bishop Mac. We are done throwing rocks this year, but we will definitely crush a few houses next year. Well done, girls. And this is a reminder to all girls interested in playing rugby. There is a meeting today at the start of lunch in room 207. Well, that concludes this segment of BM News Celtics. I'm Braden Kornsha. My name is Mateo Stradioto. Have a great day. <laughs>